Well, for a little bit more on this, we're now joined by the co-chairperson of the Trans-Kalahari uh, uh, Corridor Secretariat. So thank you very much indeed for joining us and a very warm welcome to you. Thank you very much for inviting me to this interview. Mr. Mokhotsi, I wonder um, if you could start by what was it that you were seeing that inspired setting this up? What were the major headaches that you were seeing? Thank you very much. Uh, this joint law enforcement operation is uh, the result of the MOU that we assigned by the three member states, Botswana, South Africa, and Namibia in 2003. And the objective of the MOU was to bring uh, the three member states to do much more trade uh, amongst uh, uh, those three member states. And in the, in the main objective is to drive economic integration of the region uh, being SADC, but as well looking at uh, uh, using uh, uh, Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa as part of that bigger objectives of the region. So in the main, the this general enforcement operation, while it's looking at issues of uh, law enforcement, compliance, road, road safety, uh, vehicle worthiness, it also looked much more specifically on issues of inter economic integration. So th those are the main vision that uh, these three member states uh, are doing under this joint law enforcement operation. What is it that this body can do that other bodies in those three countries can't do? Because up until I get to the border, there are all kinds of enforcement agencies, traffic, border control, and on the other side of each border, the same. So what is it about this body that will be able to do something different? Oh, yes. No, you're right. Uh, the trans Kalahari Corridor Secretariat is an inter-boundary organization. It's a full diplomatic organization based in Namibia, uh, hosted by the government of, of Namibia on behalf of the three member states, which is Botswana, South Africa, of course, and Namibia, in terms of the hosting agreement. What it does is that uh, it coordinates on behalf of the member states areas of mutual interest and areas of concern. So if there are issues that member states are not able to resolve, issues like uh, streamlining of border processes, issues like uh, uh, traffic law enforcement across the member states, issues of compliance to matters of road safety and all of that, the, the, the corridor secretariat will then intervene on behalf of the member states. If there's a matter that is uh, coming from South Africa and we're not able to resolve with South Africa, but it's impacting uh, the traffic in Botswana, uh, the Secretariat will then, on behalf of the member states, engage with the, with the government of Botswana and, and the relevant stakeholders to address some of the issues that uh, uh, we are not able to even deal with as uh, member states uh, ordinarily. So this organization is an organization that, that belongs to the three member states, Botswana, South Africa, and Namibia. It works and it acts on behalf of those three member states. All right. I, I'm hearing a lot of things that it does. And um, my understanding was that it's, it's about managing compliance, but it seems to be doing a lot more than that. Indeed, uh, it's doing much more uh, work than the law enforcement. In actual fact, as I said uh, earlier, the trans Corridor is a is a 1,900 kilometer stretch that traverses uh, in the in the territories of the member states. In South Africa, here it starts on a split of uh, N4 and N, uh, N1, and is, is anchored on the N4 West. Uh, one of the key issues that we are driving from transport uh, perspective as well is to look at issues of 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 of, uh, of development. Remember that uh, when we do infrastructure investment. We investing monies and, and, and taxpayers' money, and we want all of that uh, people to see opportunity that is brought by the transport infrastructure to do investment along the corridor. Investments can be in the form of truck stops. Investment can be in the form of uh, uh, pet, uh, petrol stations that we've seen the, the ultra, uh, the Shell ultras, and many others that we see along the corridor. That includes as well uh, issues around the eateries, issues around. Uh, uh, the bed and breakfast or uh, leisure facilities that we want to see along the corridor. So it's, it's, it's much more 
than uh, just a law uh, joint law enforcement program or looking at uh, combined. It also look at issues of economic interest and issues of economic development integration of the three member states. All right. I mean, it sounds almost like uh, uh, another economic trading block and uh, trying to get uh, uh, the 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 strength of community being uh, the sum of the parts is greater than, uh, I mean, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Not really. Um, it is not uh, an economic block on its own. Uh, the, 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 the Secretariat or the, the Corridor Management Institution, the CMIs, are established under the SADC protocol on transport, meteorology and communication. And this is a fulfillment to uh, the SADC uh, program. So it falls rightly within the SADC uh, as, a, as a region on its own. And of course, it works with other uh, member states, even beyond uh, SADC, in terms of looking at how do we uh, facilitate transport, but also how do we use transport as an inducer of development. So it, it is not an uh, economic block on its own. It's a body that falls under the uh, uh, Southern African Development Community. I guess, in the end, what could happen is that you're improving the experience of uh, users on our roads, that there's uniformity so that the standards are high in all those countries as opposed to you drive a stretch, cross the border and things drop off. You want the quality of the experience to be the same across the three countries. Indeed, uh, one of the key programs that is pursued by SADC as our mother body is what you call harmonization of transport regulations across the three member states. So, uh, indeed, we look into areas of where can we harmonize, where can we bring our systems together, where can we work together as the, as the three member states to fulfill the issues of economic integration, issues of law enforcement, and all of that along our, 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 our corridor. So indeed, those are the objectives that we are pursuing as a secretariat, as, as, as a three member states. All right. And that's where we'll leave it, Mr. Mohotsi. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, good luck with this initiative. It sounds great. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity and uh, wish you every, every, everyone road safety and compliance with our, our services. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's uh, uh, Sehodi Mohozi, who's the co-chairperson of the Trans-Kalahari Corridor uh, Secretariat.